extremely kind, benevolent, and warm. She was a truly committed teacher. On many occasions, I found her spending hours with students after the classroom. It was a great joy to work with her, and she used to treat me like her own son, actually, and uh, provide a lot of uh, what one can call encouragement. And to all the younger faculty members, she was considered as one of those role models. She was a mother figure. Every boy or girl was her son or daughter. And there was a lot of love between the students and the teacher. And this was the foundation for her immense popularity. 32 years later, I must admit, I am still working on her suggestions. Her humor was really something, you know, which would send us into gales of laughter. She had such a great fan following, you know, we were all amazed. I still think, you know, if we had with social media uh, those many years ago, the kind of following should have had on Twitter or Instagram would have been unparalleled. Like her name, she was really Vatsalya personified. One of the two people who have significantly influenced my life as teachers, uh, apart from Professor Prasanna Chandra. I would call her not only a teacher of the students, but a teacher of the teachers, because I learned a lot from her teaching techniques, which I was trying to apply when I became a teacher, particularly how to be patient with students. This is a very unique event that students have gone out of their way to contribute to dedicate a classroom in the name of Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. I recall with nostalgia those initial years when IMB had just been established. We were a small community of faculty, research and administrative staff where hierarchies were yet to emerge. Yet it was a time of challenges, ranging from defining individual academic roles to the sheer effort of settling down. Many of us came to a completely new city with its own unique culture. It was in these initial years that Vatsala played an indispensable role of a local host and a good Samaritan. Her house in Maleshwaram soon became a hub for us to gather, chat, and of course have delicious meals that were often cooked with very short notice. I am very happy that L11, the classroom, is being named after Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. Uh, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan taught me accounting, not in L11, but in L12. That was the classroom where we sat through her classes. One of the most fascinating teachers I've ever found in my career as a student as well as my career as a teacher. What makes me uh, want to speak about her on this occasion is her qualities as a human being, as a teacher. Uh, the sheer warmth, uh, the affection that she had for everyone uh, in the class. Um, she reminds me or typifies uh, something that I read in my son's school once. It said, teaching is a vocation of love. And uh, if you are incapable of loving, you should, you should not be a teacher. So Vatsala Ma'am is an inexhaustible reservoir of that love, warmth, affection, whatever you want to call it. I found Vatsala a very positive, helpful and committed person. She was loved by students and faculty and staff members for her positive and uprightness. She was one of the most affectionate persons I have ever known in my life and especially when I came to this organization as a raw faculty member we had um, such a lovely time uh, together over the years we celebrated birthdays together it was a great moment it was not just the birthdays of us faculty members but it was our families too 
Over the years, I have interacted with her on many occasions. I found her very cordial, affectionate and cooperative. I joined the institute in 1986, but had no courses to teach immediately, as it was in the middle of the year. Professor Vatsala Nagarajan readily told me to teach her elective course, Budget Planning and Control. Next year, in 1987, she told me to take over the Financial Accounting core course. It was extremely generous of her. Vatsala's charismatic, self-effacing personality, always radiating positivity and warmth, put everyone from the staff to the director at ease and made her always very approachable. Vatsala truly was an inspirational and motivational leader. She retired as an academic dean, leaving behind very warm memories and an abundance of goodwill. Vatsala, on a personal note, I can only say I am indeed very fortunate to have you in my life and will always hold a very precious place in my heart. Thanks to IMB for making all this possible. I really don't know how to respond to this show of affection. All I can say is thank you very much. Parents are normally very proud of their children when they do well in life. A teacher is always proud when all her students do well. When I think of IIM and the students, successful professionals with uh, very good hearts, to go through a program like this makes me very happy and also very proud.